Honorable Chair, I ask to address the House for one minute. Without I objection, the gentleman is recognized for one minute. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Last night, President Biden gave his interpretation of the state of our union. But after hearing his version, one thing's clear. Our president lives in an alternative reality. We all know the problems, crippling inflation and soaring interest rates, making it harder to save money and do business, an open border with nearly 5 million illegal crossings since this administration took office, a drug and crime crisis harming our communities, and a more dangerous world with feckless leadership out of the White House, from a botched Afghanistan withdrawal to an emboldened CCP. The fact is, Americans know the real state of our union every time they buy groceries, put gas in their tanks, can't find baby formula or medications or lose a loved one to the fentanyl pouring over our border. That's why Americans elected House Republicans last November to bring change back to Washington. We've already gotten to work by passing legislation to defund 87,000 IRS agents, establish a select committee to compete with China, halt the COVID vaccine mandate for service members and end the national emergency, fully reopening the capital to the American people. But we're just getting started. And to use the words of President Biden, House Republicans plan to finish the job the right way for the American people. I yield back. 